Prabhu also here, who is our technical expert. So our mission is uh, launched by the Chief Minister last year. This is to increase the forest and tree cover in the state uh, by, you know, we are planning to plant about 265 crores of trees. Uh, so that is our aim and we have crossed three crores in the last year. Uh, and our journey is still 2031. So we are very, very happy as part of the Madras Day celebration to initiate this. Uh, a basic awareness about what is around us. So I think by the end of the day, end of this tour, we will get to know what, why we are conducting this awareness tour. And Dr. Babu from the uh, NGO will be joining with this team today to research on all these details. Uh, so I will have, before handing over, uh, I will also tell, uh, welcome all of you once again. And uh, there is uh, a full uh, schedule of seven to eight places that we will be visiting. Breakfast break will be in Egbo Museum. Uh, so there we will walk, we will have our breakfast and then we will return back to the drop point we will be back there. Right? So, yeah. over to you, uh, Dr. Bhatti. Uh, I welcome you all again once again. And uh, we are from Nigal. And uh, she is Chitra uh, Vishwanathan. Uh, and she is the director. And she is the director. And she is the director. And she is and uh, she is also a uh, core member of uh, our team here. And uh, this basically we have been sensitizing about the green spaces and the trees. And trees are being a nice line for human being and other very community too. But uh, I do not know how many of us know about each individual tree species and their important uh, ecological roles. and at least and many places we plant so many numbers of trees but we don't after planting we forget and we don't know how many are alive and that is that is what that is the reason why we are trying to sensitize people about our uh, indigenous trees and trees are all connected with our culture and heritage and many of us we you know forget the uh, link historical connect, cultural connect and spiritual connect. And uh, that is why we have many old trees and we have been losing many old trees in the name of the So we have found some very trees. That's why it's a different location. So this is Indranagar and uh, British officials. So it was just a forest and they used to come from all the way from the fort, same fort, George Lander, they used to come here for hunting only. In only in 1740 this Adyar came into the map and they bought it and they integrated to Madras Presidency. And this was developed in late uh, 1970s uh, under the scheme of uh, coming out of housing scheme. So, Adyada, the first residence in this Adyar was Gandhi Nagar. Later on, only the Shasta Nagar came, then Indra Nagar, then only Besan Nagar was. So, you can see the uh, pin code itself. It is 90 and there is 20. And Adyar is one of the. We are in the tail end of Adyar. Although Adyar is Adyar Solkom, but it is the estuary portion of the number. It is a very highly rich, uh, biodiversity rich. Uh, an aquatic uh, system, waterways, but uh, many people call that as an co-op because any waterways within the city stinks. So people think uh, co-op is synonymous to uh, stink. So there are three uh, rivers, Vasasthalayar, 
Kumon of Peles, Adair. Adair was very beautiful in a river those days. And many people used to go and have bath even in the late uh, 60s. But later on only it has become horrible. Uh, and uh, there are many you know, trees here, you know, to be spoken about. And I, I request Sauda Mini to talk about one you know, landmark heritage tree in this area. Good morning. So I am a resident of Indra Nagar for the last 23 years. After you go to Laudar, madam. So I am living in Adyar for the past 25 years. I was yeah, I got associated with Nigel for about uh, 10 years. Okay, once I uh, came into Nigel's uh, uh, canopy, then I got to know about our uh, green friends around us. And that made a lot of difference. See, we all know that uh, the trees are good. Even the little children know that trees are good. They are the only producers. But what happens is like, we, we plant any tree. Okay, whichever is there and whichever is popular, whichever is nice to see, uh, flowers. So that is the way we choose our trees. But what happens is like the trees that belong to this land, right? So that gradually we start losing. It's like, like see, we are all Indians, we live here and suddenly some other place is given and you go there and uh, like, I mean, there is no connect to the place means we'll be lost. That's what happens. So that way, Unknowingly, we started losing so many trees. There, are, there is something called a red list where the number of that particular tree is going very drastically low. Soon we may lose the tree itself if we don't consciously plant, is what happens. One of the trees is the Ashoka, the famous Ashoka that happens in the Ramayana, no? Ashoka Manam, where Sita was there in Sri Lanka. So that tree is in the red list. We have to increase the number, otherwise, we lose the tree itself. So now from Nigal what we do is we bring awareness of which tree is what. So then only we will know like which tree we need to increase in number, which tree next time when we want to plant around our house, what to choose, etc. Right? So and also when we get to know a person, you will you will feel a connection. Without knowing everything, everything is green is not enough, right? So now right now we are here standing in front of a tree, which is the very old tree of this place. So this one, it, it is, does anyone know what tree is this? The one which is, see, right above it's our got head. It's clusters of leaves. Yeah, like yes. bunches of leaves. So there are so many trees here, but what we are pointing out is this. The one right above our head, with clusters of leaves. It looks like a mango tree. Yeah. So right, because of often it clusters. is mistaken as a mango tree from distance. Is it the one, uh, one with the Shiva flowers? Uh, no, 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 not that. Yeah, that is there inside. Nagalingam is there. Yeah, it's there inside. So this is Ilupai. Ah, Ilupo. Ah, Ilupai. Am I audible? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it was good. If you come into the flower, you'll be able to get the flower. Yeah. So, Ilupo Marathik. Okay. So, this common English name is Indian Butter Tree. Okay. So, now... See, trees often, like we identify trees with flowers, right? Orange flowers, this gulmahar is orange and this copper pod, that yellow flowers that come. So, but some trees have speciality of leaves, identifying by leaves. One is this tree because it's, it has a beautiful clusters of leaves, like that itself looks like a flower, right? Actually, it's flower. Can you guess anyone what color of flower? The tree has. White. Have you ever green, seen? Green, huh? Yeah, someone yeah. told white. white. Yeah, white. yeah, it's pale white. Uh -huh. yeah, white. Okay, so most of the white flowers they bloom in night. Okay, so and then they fall down. Okay, and they also have sweet scent. So if you want to see Ilupai 
फ्लावर इन द ब्लूमिंग सीजन इवनिंग अराउंड इवनिंग टाइम्स और इन द मॉर्निंग वेन यू कम अराउंड द ट्री यू सी दोज वाइट फ्लावर्स ओके सो दैट इज टू आइडेंटिफाई द ट्री एंड द बार्क इज लाइक अ पेल काइंड ऑफ ब्राउन इज ओके नॉट लाइक अ डार्क ब्राउन यू कैन सी दैट ओके सो एंड दिस ट्री एज यू ऑल सी लाइक इट कैन ग्रो वेरी टॉल लाइक ट्वेंटी मीटर्स आर सो Right, and it is uh, one of the deciduous trees. Okay, deciduous means they lose leaves, right, and then again regrow. Yeah, the other one is evergreen, right? We all. Know. So this is a deciduous tree, and this mini. It's, it's 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 what we call a semi deciduous, deciduous yeah. which means it drops its leaves, but you will never see it there. Yeah, it will always have new leaves coming up all the time, right? So we call it deciduous because of the season. It does drop leaves, but they will not break. Yeah, that's yeah. It's very correct because we we'll never see the tree without leaves. One side will lose, another side some new leaves will come. Okay. So and um, what is the blooming season? Uh, it's after March, rains, March. usually most of our trees will flower only after. If it is an indigenous tree, it will flower after the rains. Okay. And this tree is found uh, throughout India. especially in the central part of india there's lot like maharashtra madhya pradesh jharkhand and all those regions but and in the peninsular india also the tree is there but there are two different variations of the tree so what we have here has a long leaf okay so that is called the scientific name is maduka longiflora and the one which is seen uh, in the central india is mostly maduka latiflora okay so maduka the name itself you will feel that madu when you say what will you get connected to the sweetness right so that that is the connection the flowers of this tree are very very sweet very sweet means to the extent it can replace sugar okay so in those uh, days like um, some of the smaller places they won't have mills so how is sugar coming from sugar cane and then it is processed and then we get no so this flower dried flowers of this tree can be used as a replacement for sugar so there is a proverb in tamil aala illada urukku ilupai pu sakkarai okay so that sweet it will be and not only that the fruits are also fleshy and edible for most of the birds and animals and uh, the bats love this fruit when the fruiting season lot of bats will be hovering around and they want to have that so that way they they visit them <coughs> so and that becomes a menace for people human so they say this bats come to my house i don't want this tree in front of her but that is very wrong isn't it like see we came as a last person to this world in the evolution right and we are saying that no 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 you all have to go we want to have comfortable life right mm. so we shouldn't do that right so that is the thing and not only that see this as i told you that peninsular india this tree is seen all over right so we can see that in most of the temples most means like off i mean like uh, down south and uh, even in the north of chennai i mean uh, tamil nadu many temples have this as thala vriksham so the thala vriksham says that that tree was predominantly in that region that is how the thala vriksham concept comes okay so near to us like tirunindra oor there is a temple shiva temple there this tree is the thala vriksham and the great uh, saint tiruvalluvar was supposed to be born under the ilupai uh, maram even in mailapur even today they have uh, a boat stating yes. that tiruvalluvar piranda idam of the ilupai maram they found actually they found the tiruvallur and the that tree even now that that actually that temple is ekambreshwara and kamakshi temple but here you have a separate thing where they found uh, this baby the tiruvallur uh, and the maru you know that is another you know, connect to the people you know maram with uh, this thing. and another thing is our all livelihood was based on the bio resources and even today the western Ma madhya pradesh and northern uh, maharashtra the tribes they make lots of product ilupe enna nariya per namba ilupe enna saapdom vairu vali endana kuda ilupe enna ke 
kadawa and even uh, to deworm yeah deworm it means take ulupe uh, enna and all these are all the traditional uh, remedies with the bio resources ella bayindra but now beyond uh, na treatment there is also economy economy of you know, local economy which is thriving well in uh, maharashtra and madhya pradesh as the tribal cooperative society is making butter out of this uh, seed and the oil and what the pandas and they also make jam out of this uh, flour and it's been exported regularly to na uh, 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 iran and the mari countries middle east countries kala ipo point but so we have you know, this in uh, tamil nadu predominant uh, but it is not been you know uh, used and benefited so when you dealing the livelihood or dependency then the tree or the uh, production will come less and in bihar land uh, the flowers are being dried and even the fruits are dried and uh, they are made uh, flour and roti ella uh, nariya rotis are being made out of this and that is a staple food for them in bihar flower. uh, flower. flowers oh. flowers flowers dried flowers fruits and dry flowers they take it and nariya it has medicinal uh, flower but yeah. the thing is we are dis- we are getting disconnected and uh, we again food invasion is another one which is being yeah. happening yeah. which is happening so and number traditional food da kuda number we are losing it and we get you know will be put this in extinct so in your career you know mara irukke ana we don't, uh, we don't uh, look into it but there is lot of complaint about this ana irupai mara people see it in a different uh, perspective adha da nam maathanum so whenever they see a shooting thing this seeds are being uh, distributed uh, dispersed by bats fruit eating bats they eat and they go if it gets through the bats digestive system will it germinate it will germinate and the matter is so many people in complain to remove the tree because bats are coming bats also have to live ha uh, they that they don't understand they think the whole earth is only for human habitation and not even the water body is also has become a human habitation but not <laughs> for us and tree is an habitat actually so this is we can go on talk about yeah. you know, incidentally Madam. it's a, actually in the end because the canopies are very close to each other you don't really see the beauty of this tree yes, here yeah. Yeah. but this portion you can see if you see an elephant yes, yes. tree it's all so by nice. itself it's a very beautiful tree i don't tree. know how many of especially when young flushes of leaves come you because you see hints of orange <laughs> see you can see such you know you can admire it in the uh, bus uh, no, uh, bus terminus uh, gandhi nagar bus terminus here top le raymond circle and munadi naya and nado so that uh, munadi you have a ilupe tree you can see the cone shape the crown yeah. as well as the pink color uh, tender leaves with tender a bunch of pink like mango mango so actually on the pink leaves irukarcha if you look at it with the sun behind it it look pink like it's a flame it's very beautiful to look at yes yeah we will go to the next uh, spot yeah. so and we can uh, yeah incidentally visit. this is the only tree now here like but, yeah. she uh, but i i used to here. live here 15 years back there was a tree in between these two two more were there one. the same ilupai and it's not <coughs> there but now it's you can see it, yeah, <coughs> it, it may what, have fallen yeah it might have fallen or or see the fallen tree could have where we can really give uh, life to it yes. nobody bothers actually no, for a fallen tree one ah. simple thing that they could have done is just chop off all that the that branches and lift it up even a wooden cutting machine and whether we can really and it is a natural you know, habitat of this you know, tree because you can see it in even now a few trees inside the cancer institute at the iit so kula na bathe na kan you know even in besanagar tarpagam gardens le there is one yes huge yeah, huge one so much la kamata tarpagam gardens trust i think yeah. we have to move on yeah. otherwise so then we'll so talk about it thank you all. can you all move to the bus go to the bus the bus is there please get indian butter what is indian butter what is indian butter and what is call போட்டாச்சுமா 
Thank <laughs> you. 